Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and for today's video we are going to be doing another unboxing video and these are some of my favorite ones to do because I don't really see a lot of people doing these unboxings and they should because this is so so good. So I actually <laughs> I saw this first on Instagram and I fell in love with the concept because if you've been watching my channel I love makeup subscription boxes. This is Pout Box which is a makeup subscription box all about lip products. This one is dedicated to everything lippy. So lip masks, lip gloss, lipstick, bullet lipstick, liquid lipstick, you name it. Every month you get different lip products and this is a $35 a month subscription box. So if you're interested in this box, I actually do have a code with them and I will say that if you do use this code, eventually I can make a little bit of money off of it, but you know, gotta pay the bills <laughs> if you're interested. You can, if not, it's okay. But if you are interested, I will put my code right here for 10% off of your first box. So, and that is for your first box only. I am so, so excited to open this box. The first month was amazing. I will link that video in the cards and in the description box below. So you can go watch that if you haven't seen the first month. They actually just launched last month. Last month was their first box ever and they blew me away. <laughs> so I'm so excited to see what January has in store. So if you're interested in watching the unboxing of this month's pout box, then keep on watching. If you're interested in any of the makeup that is on my face today, I will have it linked in the description box so you know what's here. Oh, let's dive right into the unboxing. First of all, this box is gorgeous. I love the fruit. I love the lips. The art on here is just gorgeous. So, so cute. When you open the box, you get your little card that tells you what came in it. I'm actually gonna put that to the side because I do not want to know yet. <laughs> but it looks like we have a card from one of the brands that's featured in here as well. So I will read this in a little bit. But it comes all neatly wrapped in the box. And look at the sticker, how beautiful. I love the little things that go into these boxes. And this is a small brand. I will link their Instagram and their website down below. First in here, we have a brand that I've never heard of. This is from Prevo Previ. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I might not be, I'm not sure. So Privi, this is a lip cream. It says it's a unique combination of protective shea butter, nourishing oils, and lip plumping peptides flavored with refreshing spearmint essential oil. Apply liberally to protect the lips from environmental stress. Okay, so for the lip cream kind of sounds like it's going to be a liquid lipstick of some kind, but it actually sounds more like it's going to be a balm, so it might be clear. And it does come sealed, so it has this plastic around it, so you know that it is brand new. Woo! That's minty. <laughs> it is like a breath of fresh air when you open it up. So it has like this normal kind of lip gloss applicator, the clear balm, and it's very, very, very much pepperminty. <laughs> so I actually don't really have much on my lips right now, so I will go ahead and tr try it out for you. I have a feeling that it's just gonna be like a balm. Yeah, it's like your average kind of lip balm, but it is very, very minty. I feel like if you have any kind of bad breath situation, this would be perfect because, oh, I could taste it. <laughs> you know how when you taste it on your lips, like you smell the peppermint so you can taste the peppermint. That is exactly what I'm experiencing with this. So I'm not actually eating the lip balm, but I could definitely feel that minty feel and like kind of smell that spearmint in there. But for the first item in here, I'm actually pretty happy with this. So it's always good to have a nice balm in your collection. So I'm happy. Next up, oh my gosh, I can't believe I grabbed this next. Ooh, okay, so the shade I'm not so sure about. So sure, so sure. Blah, blah, blah. The shade I'm not so sure about, but I have heard such amazing things about this. So this is the Propa Beauty Luminous Satin Lipstick, and I have mine in the shade Closer, and it might be a little dark for me, but hey, the beauty about these kind of subscription boxes is that you're not picking the shade, but you're also not picking the same nude, boring shade that you pick every single time. If you're like me, 
I always go for a nude. Whether it's a slightly pinker nude or a slightly more brown nude, I always pick a nude. And I rarely ever go out of my comfort zone, so this kind of box is perfect for me because it actually pushes me to try different shades that I probably wouldn't have bought in the first place. Maybe I fall in love with those shades. Like there are a few times that I actually fall in love with the shades that I didn't even think I would like. So here is what the lipstick looks like. The packaging is so, so cute. Look at that. Love the logo. Love this, like, what is this? Hexagon? Octagon. Octagon. Math, guys. <laughs> it looks like a stop sign. It is an octagonal kind of component. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, it's dark. But that is really pretty. But who knows? Maybe I'll like it. Keep an open mind, keep an open mind. I know, I know that I love satin lipsticks, so, and I've heard really wonderful things about the formula of these, so I'm gonna test it for y'all. <laughs> so bear with me, cause this is definitely not something that's in my comfort zone, so hopefully, we'll see. Let me take off this balm that I have. I just don't want the balm to interfere with the actual lipstick. Great, let's try it. Mm, that is a very, very silky lipstick. So the formula, I actually really, really love. Shade-wise, you tell me. Uh, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. It's definitely not a lipstick that I usually go for, but I'm kind of getting into it a little bit. Oh, like, I don't have anything. Oh, it makes my teeth look white. <laughs> wow, okay. So I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this, so... I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, sorry if I'm looking over here, this is where I can see what I'm seeing in the camera, you know, but I'm actually getting into it just a little bit. Y'all in the comments can tell me if it looks crazy, it might, I don't know, but I am feeling it. And you know what, that's all, that's all makeup is about, is making you feel confident in your own skin. It's not what other people think, so. It is such a silky lipstick, like you don't really feel like you have anything on your lips. It will actually transfer because it is a silky uh, satin finished lipstick, but I don't mind that. I actually prefer a satin lipstick as opposed to a matte one, just because I like the comfort of it. Matte lipsticks can be a little bit drying depending on the formula, but I really am actually getting into this color. Hmm. Thank you, Poutbox, because I would never have picked out this shade. So this is shade Closer, if you're interested. But yeah, so I am like a really, 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 really light skin tone. And I thought that this might be way too deep for me, but it, I don't know, it has like a nice tone to it. Does it look like I just ate a lot of chocolate or is it an actual okay shade for me? I need y'all's opinion, <laughs> but I like it. I mean, I like chocolate too, so <laughs> it is what it is, I don't know. But I think that is beautiful. And the beauty of this is, now that I've tried this one, I think I wanna get other shades in this as well. And I believe this is a black owned brand. So 100% all for it. I would love to support some more black owned beauty brands. And I think I might buy this lipstick in a like pinkier nude as well. So now that I know I like the formula, mm, and I, I probably will get a lot of use out of this actually. Like I'm feeling it. Very like fall winter-esque, you know? Like, ooh, I'm gonna go get my pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Anyone else? I don't know. But I think that's really, really beautiful. I forgot to mention the retail value of the Provi Lip Balm. This is $12, so your average kind of a lip balm. The Prava Beauty Lipstick. Oh my God, this is $12? Oh my God, this is $12. I'm getting two more of them. Oh my God. For some reason, I thought this was like a really expensive brand, but now that I know this is $12, I'm getting it. I am gonna get more shades of this. This is beautiful. Love it. Oh my God. Love the packaging, love the pigmentation, love how easily it glided on. I love the wear, the comfort. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, and it's paraben and cruelty free. So they have 12 beautiful nude shades. This is a plum mauve tone with a luminous and elegant satin finish. So that leads me to believe that some of them might be a different finish, I'm not sure. But, oh my God, I'm gonna have to look and get some more of these because $12 for a beautiful lipstick like this, 
This looks so luxurious and beautiful. It's a little bit weighted too. I'm sold, absolutely sold. <laughs> so moving on, but I kind of want to keep this on. So next up in here, okay. So this is the one that actually had the little card that came with it. So this is a Lux gloss from uh, Runway Rogue by Patricia Hartman. So I've never heard of the brand before, but I'm very intrigued. It says it has seductive shine and a gorgeous shimmer enriched with powerful antioxidants to hydrate and prevent moisture loss in a lightweight, creamy, luxuriously creamy and long lasting formula. This is in shade Catwalk. So let's see what the shade is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. So it has this little peekaboo window on the side. I was, I opened it and it was like this and I had no idea what to expect but it looks like a beautiful pinky nude lip gloss with some gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer in there. Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. I might be able to just put this right on top, let's see. Now I'll try it on by itself for you. I, I wanna show you the individual products. So, oh, it smells like vanilla cupcake. Mm. Oh my God. Ooh, oh, it's pigmented. Okay, so here is the gloss. It's actually beautiful. Look at that shine. I think we'll show. There we go. Look at that beautiful shine. It's like a like a baby pink kind of shade. And it has a gorgeous shimmer in there. Is it picking up on camera? I can't really tell. But oh, it's so pretty. Okay. The fact that it smells like cupcakes is making me really hungry. But that is gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. I need to take this off so I can show you. Okay, so I took off the Prop of Beauty lipstick and the pigment is real. It actually stuck to my lips. <laughs> so this is what my lips look like after I took off the lipstick. There's a little bit of excess on there, but I didn't want to ruin all my makeup. This is my natural lips showing through. So we're gonna go ahead and try on the Runway Rogue by Tr Patricia Hartman. And this is in shade Catwalk. So, ooh. Sorry, I'm looking at you while I <laughs> apply my lip gloss. But wow. Okay. I will say this particular shade looks a little bit frosty on me, but I could definitely see pairing this with something a little darker underneath. Like if I put this on top of the Prop of Beauty, this would absolutely just shine and add this beautiful pinkiness to the brown shade and I would love it. But it is a little bit frosty on its own. It goes really well with my eyes, but that is the shade on its own. Let's see, so Catwalk on here is this one right here, which is the more pinky of all of the shades. So that does make sense. Um, but I think if I were to buy a shade, I think I would probably go with this one, which is Photo Filter or strike a pose at the end, just because they're a little more nude leaning and not as much light pink, but I still really, really like the shade. I'm gonna use it a lot, especially because it feels really nice. It's not sticky at all. It does have some beautiful shimmer in there. Like all of that shimmer is from the gloss because that was my bare lips underneath. It tastes like vanilla cupcake, smells like vanilla cupcake, and it's a beautiful shimmery pink shade. So I am definitely happy with that. Let's see how much this baby retails for. $22. Okay, so it is a little bit on the expensive side for a gloss, but it is gorgeous. I actually really do like the formula. So I don't know, I might have to give myself a different shade of this. I've never heard of the brand, but now I have. And it's actually really, really gorgeous. So this says it's the ultimate lip gloss with its iconic pink shade and cult following. Perfect for the extra pop of color wear alone or as a lip topper for any with any of your pout box lippies. Okay, so perfect. I would actually add this on top of the Prop of Beauty lipstick and be just rocking it. <laughs> but really love that. $22 is a, it's a more expensive lip gloss, but it's beautiful. So I don't know. I, I, it's actually growing on me. It's not as frosty as I thought. It's a little frosty, but definitely wearing it over something or a lip liner. This over a lip liner, I have ideas. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to keep trying that. So this one, this is a lip cream. 
This is a Kiss Proof Lip Cream from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I have never heard of Bella Pierre either, but it's a beautiful shade. That is like my new jade that I always go for. Ooh, I will say I really dislike the smell. Okay, so I'm gonna try on this lip cream, but <laughs> it doesn't smell that great, I will say. Um, but it's not horrible either. It's just, you know what? I'm just gonna shut my mouth. I'm gonna try it because this this uh, color is beautiful. So who knows? I might actually really, really like it. So I will say the applicator makes it really easy to get a nice line. Here is the lip cream. I will say it's not my favorite formula ever. The color's beautiful but it is bunching up a little bit on the outsides, but that could be human error. Oh no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ugh, no. Oh God, okay, I love Pout Box. I love you girl, but this ain't it. You see that stick? Ugh. Okay, no, I'm taking this off. Beautiful color despise the formula. So I'll be right back. I'm going to take this off. Okay. I tried to take that all off and my lips are still sticky. How is that possible? <laughs> okay. I am going to put on a little bit of lip gloss because oof, that was rough. Oh yes. Bring me back some hydration. Okay. I feel so much better now. So this, not it. So Bella Pierre Cosmetics, I would love to try some of your other stuff, but this formula is not for me at all. Like I can't, I love the color, beautiful, beautiful color, but I cannot with the stickiness. Like it actually is still making my lips sticky. The gloss is helping a lot, but mm -mm, that's gonna hurt my lips, I don't know. Not for me. Some people might like that. I don't know. It might be for them, but not for me. That's all I'm going to say about it. But it does retail for... Okay, so this is a set, actually. Oh, maybe you're supposed to use it together. Oh, I see. Okay, so I was a little bit quick to take this off my lips, but I absolutely needed to because I really didn't like this formula. This is a full coverage high impact liquid lipstick that lasts for hours without the need to touch up. It's a creamy formula, goes on smooth and dries to a beautiful matte finish and a snap. So maybe I didn't let it dry long enough? I don't know. E I don't know about that. I might have to try that out in another video and maybe give it another chance, but that was just rough. I mean, it was really sticky. I mean, I closed my mouth once to try to like rub my lips together to get it to even out and it stuck. It was not fun. But it does come with a lip finish. So this is a Kiss Proof, I'll just show you. This is a Kiss Proof lip finish from the same brand, Bella Pierre. So I guess it's a set. Uh, the gloss is $10 and the lipstick is 20. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But maybe I'll like the lip gloss, who knows? The lip gloss doesn't really smell like much. So it did stain my lips a little bit. So this is basically the same color as what the other one was. I don't mind the gloss. I really don't. The gloss is a nice clear gloss. So I actually might use this because I don't have a lot of clear gloss. I have a lot of pink glosses and shimmery glosses, but not enough like actual clear gloss. Oh, I am glad to have this in here and this is $10 and I might be able to recommend this one. I didn't read directions, so that's on me, but I will definitely give this another try because I feel like I didn't give it a proper try just because of how sticky it was, but maybe it just hadn't dried yet. I don't know, but that was rough, man. Like, ooh, it was like glue, but I will give that another try. The next thing we have in here is a lip mask. Oh my gosh. So this is from KNC Beauty. This is an all natural collagen infused lip mask. And it's actually like a jelly kind of thing. You just go and lay it on your mouth and 
just mask it up, I guess. And it makes your lips feel nice and hydrated. So it says it'll give you those visibly plump, hydrated, soft, and smooth, moisturized, kissable lips you've always dreamed of. No parabens, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances, and no animal testing. Awesome, we love it. Before masking, make sure your lips are clean and dry. If your lips are chapped, exfoliate first. And then it says leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes and you can do this two to three times a week. So we get one mask in here, but that's perfect to try. So if you don't like it, then you don't have like five of them sitting around. But if you do like it, you can go ahead and grab some more. Very, very cute. I've never actually tried a lip mask like this before. So I'm really excited about that. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram skincare thing, lip tutorial maybe, I don't know. This retails for $5 per mask. And you might be able to bundle that if you get them from the website. That's cute. Okay, $5, I'm here for it. Good to try. Ooh, ooh, okay. So the next thing in here is from Sarah Hap. And this is the lip scrub, which it's pumpkin spice latte flavored. Not to sit on animals made in the USA. Oh, I forgot to tell you, all of the products in Pout Box are cruelty free. How did I miss that? <laughs> I have actually heard of Sarah Hap, the brand, before. I've just never actually tried anything from them. So here is the cute little jar. So cute. Has the little seal on it, so you know it has is brand new. <gasps> oh my god. I could smell this all day. Oh my god, it smells so good. It has like the faintest aroma of pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's one of those really like hard exterior ones. So you're gonna have to like use your nail and get up in there and grab some of the sugar granules, I think. Yeah. So definitely a very granular sugar scrub, but oh my God. Oh, it smells so good when you use it. So I'm just, I took a little bit of the sugar and are just like putting it on my hand just to feel how rough it is. It's actually like a nice amount of granules. It's not, it's not like too gritty. Can you eat this? <laughs> Why am I wondering that? Like I wanna eat it. <laughs> Can I eat it? I'll have to look. <laughs> is it safe to eat? Let me look on the box real quick. Massage a generous amount onto lips using firm circular motions and then wipe away with a tissue. Formulated with grapeseed and jojoba oil. It says it has about 30 uses in the jar. And yeah, that's really, really nice. So it does not say that you can eat it. So I'm not gonna do that, but you know what? You know what, I'm gonna do it. Just gonna do it. I just took a very little amount. Ooh, okay, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> My lips feel really soft. <laughs> so I tried to do that as best as I could without getting the makeup around my lips because constantly like removing stuff from your lips takes away the foundation around there. So I'm trying not to film with bare face here, but that is really nice. So don't eat it. Doesn't taste good, but it smells absolutely delicious. So, so nice. And it actually has a really nice amount of grit to it. It's nothing that's gonna hurt your lips, but it actually really does exfoliate very nicely. Oh, my lips feel so soft. <laughs> so this retails for $24, which is a little bit of an expensive lip scrub, but depends on who you compare it to. So I'm glad to have this in my collection because oh my God, does that smell good? Oh my God, okay, so it's limited edition. Um, so I'm not sure if they have that specific flavor anymore, or maybe they'll just have even better ones. I don't know. But it says use your use to prepare your lips for maximum absorption of treatments like lip balm or oils, or use before applying lipstick or lip gloss. Okay. You could also use this to gently remove your lip products at the end of the night. So we love a dual purpose. We love a dual purpose lip product. So. Um, I am here for it. <laughs> and yeah, it took off all of the lip makeup that I had. So yeah, my lips are a little bit red, but that's because I've done a lot to my lips today. <laughs> so yeah, all right. I'm very excited about that. The very last product in here is actually what I'm really, really excited for. Other than the Propa Beauty. I saw a spoiler for this and I was like, ooh. 
So this is from Half Caked, and I've never tried anything from this brand, but their packaging is adorable. So this is a candy paint, which is a cheek and lip tint. So first off, packaging, 100. I mean, wow, beautiful, so, so cute. So this says, candy paint applies with ease by dabbing directly onto the skin. Blend by lightly tapping out with your fingertips, no precision required. Developed with sensitive skin in mind and it's oil-free, nourishes with vitamin E, leaving your skin flushed and glowing. So, I'm not sure how this would work over top of my makeup currently, but, ooh, okay, is this really bright? Ooh, <gasps> look at this packaging, how cute. It looks like a Polly Pocket. I, you can see my ring light in the background. I love this. So this is in shade Club Paradise and it looks really, really bright on the packaging, but when you open her up, she looks a little bit more neutral, so I think I could get away with this. And it comes in the mirror. No scent to it at all. I hate to ruin this beautiful pan, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So when you start swirling around, it picks up on your finger. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Okay, so it's a very light amount of coverage, but that's so cute. I do find that it has a little bit more coverage when you actually dab it, like it says, instead of swiping. Swipe or no swiping. We dab here. <laughs> that feels so comfortable on the lips. Like, wow. <laughs> that feels really, 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 really nice. Uh, do I even have a brush to try this on my cheeks? Mm. You know, I should not try this on my cheeks because I do know with cream-based products like this, you really will need to put it on when you have your foundation on, but not set yet. Because I have a feeling that if I put this directly on my cheeks, it will probably take off my foundation. So I'm gonna leave it alone for today just because I'm trying it on my lips. But as a lip product, this is amazing. I think that's beautiful coverage. It almost feels like a balm. It kind of feels like a hybrid between a lipstick and a balm, but it actually feels really nice and hydrating and the color is like a beautiful tinted lip balm, but like almost a little more, just a little bit more. But I actually really love this shade. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be a bright pink and I'm never gonna wear it, but no. This is actually a really beautiful pink that I think a lot of people could get use out of, especially because I think a lot of different skin tones can use this kind of for product because it layers over your natural lips. So it basically kind of changes depending on your skin tone. So hopefully it would work for your skin tone. And I really, really like this. So, so cute. How much is this? Okay, so Half Caked Candy Paint in Club Paradise is a warm terracotta with a dewy finish for lips and cheeks. Shade is so natural, people will think you spent a week on vacation. Apply to the upper part of your cheeks and across the bridge of your nose for a sun-kissed look and add to your lips for an instant matching color. So, I love that they're kind of like, it is a lip product, but they're also kind of branching into other makeup products as well. So, so cute. And the packaging though, ugh, I love it. This is $8, that is so affordable. Oh my God, especially if you can use it as a blush and a, che a cheek tint as well as a lip tint. This is amazing. I only wanna try other shades for this. It's, mm, it feels really good on my lips too. But I think that's everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my favorite lip combo from this box. Be right back. All right, here is my favorite lip combo from this box, and I think it is a banger. <laughs> so what I did was I took the Prapa Beauty lipstick in the shade Closer that we got in the box, as well as the Runway, the Runway Rogue gloss that we also got, got in the box. This is in shade Catwalk, and I just put the Prapa Beauty lipstick all over, and then I dabbed some of this pinky shimmery lip gloss in the center. Hmm. I really, really, really like the shade. I think the lip gloss goes so well with it. It made it a slight hint more pink and it also made it a little bit more glossy and shimmery, which is what I love. And I think it goes really well with this eye look. What do you think? <laughs> 
but that is so so gorgeous and I will 100% be buying more of the prop of beauty lipsticks and I don't know maybe I'll get more of these glosses I'm not sure once I once I finish this one I will definitely think about getting a new one of those uh, so let's do a quick recap so we got the prop of beauty lipstick in the shade closer then we got the half caked candy paint in club paradise we got the runway rogue luxe gloss in catwalk with the sarah hap lip scrub in pumpkin spice latte yum smelled so so good we also got one of the knc beauty lip masks and then we got the privai hopefully i pronounced that correctly lip cream balm which is basically just a clear lip balm but always needed and then the last item in this box was a duo and it was the bella pierre kiss proof lip set in muddy rose this is the color i came up with as my favorite combo of the box so i am loving it i actually loved pretty much all of the products the only one that i'm a little iffy on and i'm just gonna have to try again because maybe it was user error this is the only one that i'm kind of eh on um, but I'm definitely going to keep trying it and see if my opinion changes and I will keep y'all updated. But all of the other products in here, I really am so, so happy about. And especially for a $35 box. So the grand total of this, I believe if I did my math correctly, which who knows, is $113. And that is a wonderful retail price for a $35 lip subscription. So, oh my gosh, there's so many different brands in here. Some that I've heard of, some that I haven't, but all of them I really enjoyed, except for one. And you know, every, every rose has its thorn. But yeah, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe I can grow to love it. Maybe I wasn't using it correctly. I don't know. And of course I wasn't able to try out this lip mask just yet, but I think I'm gonna save this for an Instagram tutorial and everything. So very excited about that. But definitely the highlights were the Prop of Beauty lipstick as well as the Runway Rogue gloss and the Candy Paint. I feel like I'm gonna use this all the time. And I'm so excited to try this out as a blush. So ready. <laughs> for those natural glam days, ugh, that's gonna be so nice. But I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing video and seeing what goodies came in this month's Pout Box. And again, if you are interested in subscribing to Pout Box, then it is $35 a month and you will not regret it. There are some amazing products in here. I continue to use some a lot of the products that came in last month's box as well. So like, ooh, the, especially the Lano lips. Look how much I've used. Look how much. Look how much I've used of this. This was in last month's box and that's how much it used to be full and like a full tube. And now I've used about half of it. And that's in a month, guys. And I can't wait to see what February brings. I hope it's Valentine's Day themed. That would be really cute. And it is the time of kissing, you know. I imagine that they're just gonna knock it out of the park again, but I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you are interested, here's my code one more time. I will have it also in the description box as well as my referral link. If you would like 10% off for your first box, it is a commission thing. So I will eventually get paid if you do use my link. Just trying to be transparent here. But if you wanna help your girl pay some bills, I would greatly appreciate that. I am a small, very, very small YouTuber. So anything helps, but Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing some swatches of these lipsticks and lip products. And I hope that you found this informational. And I definitely did. It definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone with different products, which is exactly what I love about this subscription. So thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.